What's going on y'all? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. So recently I've been having kind of an issue uh, trying to get on some good fish. I've been catching a lot of little ones and I've been every once in a while hooking into a big one, but if I do hook into a big one it seems like I always lose it. And I don't know, I just feel like there's been a lot of small fish on the channel recently. So I did some research and looked around seeing if I could find some new ponds a few days ago and I actually stumbled across this one. Now this is going to be one of those small neighborhood ponds that y'all see me fish often. Uh, this is going to be a new one, but uh, it's the same kind of general idea. Me personally, uh, I grew up fishing small ponds like this, so any sort of small neighborhood pond just really catches my eye. And I love catching big fish out of them. It's really interesting like seeing what kind of fish, what kind of populations are in these little ponds, because I feel like a lot of people either don't fish them at all or don't fish them very hard. And uh, either way, that leaves a lot to be discovered. So I found this little pond, uh, it's about a half hour down south from me. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a couple rods down there, see if we can't get on some fish. The pond itself doesn't look like anything special. Uh, looks like it's a little bit dingy from Google Maps and uh, there's some trees hanging over the water, which is pretty standard for an average, you know, neighborhood pond. But I'm super jacked, y'all. I love checking out new spots. So this is gonna be interesting for both y'all and me. Hopefully we can get on some and uh, hopefully we'll get on a big one. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I would really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video, please leave me a like. Uh, it lets me know that you guys like the content and helps me grow my channel a little bit. On top of that, if you guys want to see some more content like this, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I put new videos up every Monday and Friday, and we're doing a 100 subscriber giveaway on this channel, so make sure you subscribe to A, be able to see more videos, and B, be able to get entered in that little 100 sub giveaway. I'm planning on giving away uh, some baits, maybe some line, uh, hooks, weights, you know, same old stuff, uh, maybe even a reel, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what I can find. But enough of me talking. Uh, I know you guys aren't here to see me talk. You guys wanna see me go catch some fish, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go take a drive on down and I'll meet you guys at the pond. All right, y'all, here we go. On top of this hill is a little tiny pond, I think. Yep, it's there. Hang on, there's a sign. Oh, just says stay out of the water. Okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah, this looks doable. Oh, I actually see some fish already. Okay. Well, here's an idea. It looks like they're kind of just up underneath these trees. And y'all know when they're up suspended under the trees how much I love to throw a little wacky rig. So that's what we're gonna do. I think slow fishing is going to be the name of the game today. It's a bunch of little trees and things everywhere. We should be able to get a few bites underneath some of them. I hope. All right. Ooh, there's a big old school of fish right here. A couple little bass, a couple crappie, a bunch of bluegill. You love to see it. There's a bite. He's got it. <laughs> there we go. First one of the day. Little fellow, real pale, but pretty fish. Skinny too. You need to eat better, buddy. Nice, number one. Actually, he's pretty chunky. Could stand to gain a couple more pounds, like 10. All right, first fish of the day came on that little sweet spot tackle finesse worm. Y'all been seeing me throw it a lot recently. I like it because it sinks really slow. Oh, actually, hang on, hold that thought. Another fish over there. Oh my God, he's got it. Ah, I pulled my worm out of his mouth. Or <laughs> he pulled my worm off my hook. Okay, that's a good sign though. Definitely on the tree still. Ooh, this is exciting, okay. What I've noticed is a lot of these small ponds fish relatively the same around here. There isn't a lot of like bank cover per se like trees in the water, rocks or anything like that. So fish just kind of 
pull up in the shade. Especially in the summer when it's hot and they don't want to get out and do anything. You can find some shady spots under some trees. You'll usually find some fish suspended underneath them. And then it's just a matter of getting your wacky rig in its face or whatever it else is you use to target suspended fish. Some people like a drop shot or a Texas rig, Senko. I just like a wacky rig because it falls a little bit slower and gives a lot of action on the way down. I'm getting bit. He's got it. Oh yeah. Ooh, a little fighter. There we go. Number two. Again, up under that shade. Would you chill, Axe, buddy? Chill. A little bit better size, but not by much. See ya. How's it going? Uh, yeah, two little ones so far. What about you? What about you, you catch anything? Yeah, um, yesterday I caught a 10 inch bass just right here actually. Oh, nice. And this morning on my first cast out, I got a little one. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Are you a YouTuber? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, what's, your, what's your YouTube name? Uh, Spice Camp Fish. Okay. Yeah, well, if I could suggest something to you, I'm fishing along these like trees and stuff all up in the, like up in the shade. I've been seeing a lot of, I mean, you can see all these bluegill over here, but a lot of the bass are kind of hanging up under there too. That, that's how I caught the 10 inch or it was actually, I think it, yeah, it was right there. Yeah. And there was a group of uh, shad and he was just swimming with the shad and I dropped this in there. Oh yeah. They kind of swim along after him. Oh, nice cast. <laughs> yeah. But I'd say if you can get something that sinks real slow or like, like I'm fishing a weightless thing or finesse yeah. worm right now, but anything slow falling. That'll be the deal, I think. Yeah, um, you over, up, over there, in those coolies, there's a whole bunch of bluegill, and there's there's a bass in it. It's like this small. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and yesterday, <laughs> um, somebody was here, and he caught a, a little bluegill, and then he threw it on his hook and cast it out. Mm -hmm. In like 10 seconds, he got a 15-pound bass out of here. 15? Mm -hmm. No way. And that's what he said. <laughs> he weighed it and everything. Damn. Yeah, that was like this long, and he fit both his fists in his mouth. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Out of this little thing. Out of this little thing. Pfft, know, Jesus. Is carp even bigger than that? Oh, I bet. Carp around here get huge. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, no problem. Hey, good luck. Yeah, Thanks, appreciate it. There's a bite. He's got it. Okay. Oh, he still got it. I still got him. <laughs> a freaking reel sharded out on me. <laughs> Damn. How did I hook you like that? Do y'all see that? I hooked him like, ow, son of a bitch. F fucking spined me, little piece of shit. All right, I'm throwing you back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you back. Don't worry, dude. Huh. Ow! Son of a bitch. That's the second time he's done. All right, you know what? Uh, I was gonna show you guys a little bit better where I hooked him. You know, I'm gonna try it one more time. Can you guys? Ow! Son of a. All right, you know what? Fuck it. We're doing this the hard way, you little piece of crap. Now you got cotton all over your face. All right, can y'all see that? I hooked him, it went through his mouth here and then hooked around his mouth and then hooked him again through his mouth. You got a little piercing there, buddy. What are those things called? Are they like bull rings or something that chicks get through their noses? You got one, but under your chin. <laughs> Hilarious. Another little guy. Pale, pale fish. Huh. Trace. Let's get it. All right. This place is pretty sweet so far. 
I mean, I can't really speak for size, but numbers? I've been fishing here for maybe a half hour. Caught three fish so far. No complaints here. I was just talking to some kid on the bank and he told me that someone caught a 15 pound bass out of this little pond, which I, apparently the guy weighed it. I don't even know how to respond to that if it's true. Is that a fish? That is a fish. I have one on. Yeah. Oh, fighting. Number four, would you chill? Hey. All right. Goodbye, little fella. Wow, they just disappear into that. They just, they blend in so well to this water. That's crazy. Unreal. All right, that's four fish. There's a bite. So you got it. Yeah, oh no. There's a bite. Got that one. That looks like a little bit better one. Oh yeah. He's not much better, but he's a bit better. There we go. There we go. He wasn't even really hooked. I just had like that hook like wedged in between a top couple of his skills. All right, buddy, I'll let you go over here. Try not to disturb the rest of the fish over here. So I see a few more. All right, I'm gonna try and stay up here. Oh, there's a ton of fish down there. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh no, I messed it up. Ooh, there's a bite. I just got thumped. He's got it. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he came off. Oh no. Oh no. That felt like a good one. That felt like at least the best one of the day. Frustrating. Oh. Oh my god, I saw him wake on it. I saw this little guy freaking. Aw, oh, you spit my worm, you piece of crap. Why you gotta do me like that? Ah! Get me all wet. Hey, hey, hey. I hooked him like on top of his nose. Chill out, dude. Chill. Jesus Christ. These little fish are always so freaking annoying. Like, the big ones know how to chill out, the little ones are like. No, let me go right now. Not before you get the hook out of me. Right now. Look at that. I got him like right behind the eye. How did you do that, buddy? How did you... You know you're supposed to use your mouth to eat stuff, right? Jeez, chill. God. I was going to let you go. But... Whatever. That was not the fish that I wanted to catch. <laughs> there are so many freaking bluegill in this pond. It's unbelievable. Is that a fish? Oh yeah, that's a fish. 
got the little feller. Pull him out of the grass. There we go. Chill out, homie. Chill out. Chill out. Chill. That's where you want to hook them with a wacky rig, right in the top of the inside of the mouth. That's that money zone. Whew. All right, buddy, thanks for biting. Might be the last one of the day, we're not sure. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. It helps more people see my videos and it lets me know that you guys like the videos as well. On top of that, if y'all can hit that subscribe button, I would again really appreciate that. That helps more people see my videos as well because the more subscribers I have, the higher possibility it is for other people to see my videos and uh, it's just kind of a positive cycle. So make sure you're subscribed and uh, hopefully we'll be able to grow this channel some more. Overall, uh, I had a pretty good time out there. I thought we were gonna be able to get on some, on like some craws or some jigs or something, but it really seems like that wacky rig's just been killing it out here lately. Like I said in the video, if you guys are kind of experiencing anything kind of similar, if you guys fish small ponds or maybe if you're fishing even bigger waters and you just kind of find something that looks kind of similar to what I'm fishing. But if you come across an area where there's not a lot of like cover in the water, not a lot of stuff for fish to hang out around and you're trying to find fish, definitely look for those shady pockets and try and throw something that sinks really slow. My personal suggestion would be a wacky rig. That's obviously what we did most of the damage on in today's video, but uh, you could also throw a fluke, you can throw a Senko, you can throw a drop shot, whatever you're comfortable or whatever you'd like to throw. I tried to make this video a little bit shorter for y'all. Uh, I've got a couple comments asking me to try and make the videos shorter so they're easier to watch. So I'm gonna keep trying to do that for y'all whenever I can. But usually when I make a long video, it's because there's a lot of fish catches and a lot of information and stuff that I wanna you know, put out to you guys, so. But regardless, I really appreciate you clicking on this video and watching all the way through if you have. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for me. Check them and wreck them, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.